Hey guys, this uh, lawnmower was given to me for free, and as you can see, the uh, deck itself has a break in it. I have the engine, I pulled that, I'm cleaning the carb on that, and today's video, we're going to take a little bit of sheet metal, and we're going to try and weld this up. Um, I'm going to show you the easiest way I know to do this. And, uh, you know, the idea is to make it functional, not absolutely beautiful. And I see this one's cracked too. So uh, I'm probably just going to weld around here a little bit and try and clean that up and re-drill it. But this one we're going to put a plate on. So the first step, what I want to do is just take a piece of metal. Now, this is a little bit higher here. It sticks up proud. So I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to, this is the size metal I have. So I'm going to start just by marking here so I can see what I need to grind, uh, remove the paint. All right. So I'm going to just start with that. We'll, we'll, we'll grind away to paint there. So I'm just going to hit this with the 25 grit real light. Alright guys, so I have my welder set up. Next step, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack this plate on. Okay, so I have a couple corner tacks. I'm just taking a seven inch sanding disc and I'm gonna mark this so I can see where to cut. The outer edge I'm gonna kinda eyeball. All right, I got it kind of marked, so I'm going to take a grinder here and try and remove most of that metal. I'm going to stay outside the line a little bit so I can peen over the metal with that ball peen hammer. So right now I have most of it cut away. This is a little low because that was kind of cracked there. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut away the rest of this and sort of drop it down. Same with that side. But before I do that, I want to tack this kind of in place where it belongs. All right. So I'm just going to get it in place where I want it. And then we'll tack it. And I'm going to use a ball peen hammer. Give the metal a chance to get a little tighter. I'd say that looks pretty good. And I can put a little pressure on it and tack it.
now that I have it tacked in place a little better, I'm going to round over this inside edge. And I think what I want to do is uh, just kind of go through and tack this and fill it in. So I flipped the uh, mower over, I went through the bottom, and you can see I welded the holes. I noticed both holes had cracks and the other one was broken off. So if you do get a broken hole and you keep pulling your mower to start it like that, you're going to end up cracking the other holes if you don't go ahead and fix it. And if it's not too bad, you could just weld the washer on the bottom of it. But yeah, that looks pretty good for the bottom. And here's a close-up of the top. I didn't grind anything yet. And these holes are really built up. So I'm going to grind these guys down, grind everything down, and then uh, hit it with some paint. And we should be moving forward with this project. All right, guys. So I ground everything off. That looks good. I set the engine on there. I put two bolts in. And... Uh, I took some spray paint to mark this hole because I wasn't able to mark it so I just sprayed through the hole of the engine block and I drilled that out made it a little bit bigger than these so there's some wiggle room. Things look good I think I'm just gonna paint this because I did a little bit of damage here and I don't want this to rust so we'll quick spray it. Well guys day later here and my plan was to finish this thing up yesterday start it and watch it run and be like look at that I'm great but unfortunately this mower had so many issues first of all the wheels on the front were worn out I'll show you those so that's broken off there this is the other one and it's kind of like egg shaped a little bit so I replaced those wheels and I just put on some Toro wheels and the carburetor was loose and it had a broken bolt that I had to drill out. I put in a helicoil, so that took like maybe 20 minutes. And then the intake was broken. I'll show you that. This is the intake pipe. I noticed that was broken. So I went through my box of parts, and these are all from old mowers. Of course, I didn't have one that would fit. This has the right hole size. And I had another one just like this that I put on and I went and started the mower. It'll start and run on prime and then stall and that's because there's an air leak here so the carburetor's not getting the right suction. So I got to order this intake pipe. But that's where I'm at with it and this is what it looks like. You can see it looks really nice you can hardly even tell that there was a repair you see some chips down there that's from drilling out that hole but the uh, mowers on the motors on there solid as can be I'll flip it up for you I also cleaned the carb on this thing that's underneath I sprayed some paint on there I sharpened the blade and yeah that's what it looks like it should be good and strong and ready to go. I just got to get that intake pipe and uh, we'll get this mower out of there. So anyhow guys, I am Double Wide 6. If you enjoyed this video, it's a little bit of a different topic. Uh, I don't do too many like this. And to be honest with you, 
the amount of time it took to actually fix up the metal on that I filmed it it probably took me close to 45 minutes or so and uh, to do that for a customer on a mower, mower it's, it's probably not worth the, the labor and then I ran into all these other engine problems with this thing and the wheels and everything so anyhow, you'll have to let me know if you like the video, and I'll be back with the next one coming up pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me, guys. Take care.